Welcome back to the Matt Moscone YouTube channel. Glad to have you here aboard for the, another whiskey review. And today we will be sampling LA1 Louisiana whiskey, something that was very intriguing because uh, the name, as you might know, uh, suggests that it is the first whiskey uh, distilled in Louisiana since Prohibition. So a lot of novelty involved. And with whiskey, like almost anything in life, novelty is pretty cool. Uh, you think of it like with sports, for example. We remember great stories of certain athletes because there's a novelty that goes along with it. Uh, Kurt Warner, everyone knows Kurt Warner's story. Is, you know, he was bagging groceries, he was out of football, and he took a shot in the Arena League. He becomes great in the Arena League, gets a shot in the NFL with the Rams, and as we all know, he won a Super Bowl, became the best quarterback in Rams history, and then in Cardinals history, and is now a Hall of Famer. Well, the novelty of Kurt Warner's story is really cool because not only is the story great, the backstory great, but when he got his opportunity, he was on the field, he delivered. So as it is with spirits as well, I would say, all right, so you've got a great story. You have a novelty involved. You're a small batch whiskey. You're a distilled here in Louisiana. This bottle was, uh, this was bottled on October the 19th of 2016, batch 22. A bottle 142 of 849. I'll show you the label right there so you can see it. So you can tell, small batch uh, whiskey distilled right here in Louisiana. And as it says on the label, it is 94 proof, 47% alcohol by volume, and it's distilled by Donner Peltier in Thibodeau, Louisiana. So they use a lot of, um, of Louisiana ingredients. Uh, there's corn for bod body, rye for spice, barley for balance, and local rice for sweetness, which is kind of the thing that's unique, of course, using Louisiana rice for the sweetness. So let's go ahead and give it a pour, and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. As always, I would encourage you to, excuse me, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. There's a red button right down there. Just hit subscribe, and that way you'll get notifications anytime we post a video, be it morning scone, my um, weekly, uh, daily rather, sports take video every morning. For those that don't know, I host an afternoon drive radio show and uh, on ESPN Radio in Baton Rouge, it's syndicated in New Orleans and on Cox Sports TV regionally. Um, so this is our little opportunity to uh, talk sports or whatever else we want to talk uh, at other points in the day. So I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I can tell you, uh, before I even get the nose on this, that it is very, very strong. Just, pour, just sitting back from it. I can smell it. So something that it tells me is it's probably not aged very well or very long, uh, and it's probably going to be very, very, very potent. So we'll go ahead and get the nose. Yeah, it, hang on. If you've watched the videos before, I don't like something that, that would wake up a, a sleeping man if you put it under his nose, like smelling salts. This kind of has that, that nose. It's very, very powerful. We'll do it one more time. You definitely, there's a charred flavor there, like a burnt flavor, like not a good burnt flavor. Maybe cinnamon. Um, it's, I'm, I'm hesitating, I'm delaying because I know this is going to be powerful and I, I don't like things that burn uh, upon entry. I like smooth, I like easy to drink, I even like some sweet. Um, this, this is not going to be that, um, but let's give it a go. The, the first thing that I taste, that I'm assuming you will taste, obviously is the burn. It does not go down smooth. But you have a, there is a very strong coffee and stout flavor. If you like stout beer and you like coffee, you may enjoy this. Uh, I like both of them. It doesn't necessarily mean I want them in my whiskey. It's like I like peanut butter and jelly. I like ice cream. It doesn't mean I want peanut butter and jelly ice cream. You may dig it. Um, I want to do it. I want to go again. Uh, talk about the finish on the second, uh, the second tram here. So um, that went down smoother, and I would say maybe the best part about this is the finish. Now the finish is long. Uh, and flavorful. Um, the initial taste, I think, 
the the burn um, and the very potent coffee and stout flavors, uh, maybe chocolate, um, like burn chocolate, if that makes sense, that's what's what's most prevalent here. Um, this was gifted to me, full disclosure, so I did not buy this bottle, it was gifted to me, um, and I was very happy to sample it. I can tell you that I will not buy this. Um, I don't enjoy it. it. If coffee, stout, burn, potent, like if all of that it sounds like something you'd be into, I'd say give it a go. But as I mentioned many times on the channel in the past, in different whiskey reviews, if you're on the fence about something, it's always good practice to just find a bar that has a great selection. You'll find this on a bar and go order it and and sip it and find it if you like it. And if you do, then go buy a bottle. Because one of the worst things you can do is buy a bottle, uh, not like it, and then you're stuck with a bottle on your bar that you're just trying to push off on your guests whenever they're over. But uh, that's LA1. I'd really wish, it does not say for how long it is distilled. My guess is you're probably talking about you know just a, a, a few years instead of maybe you know five to seven years, um, or obviously not longer than that. But uh, I wish it was smoother. Um, I certainly don't like the burn, and the flavor that's there isn't doesn't suit my sensibilities, but it may suit yours. So I would strongly recommend if you were interested in supporting a Louisiana company and you wanted to give this a shot, I would say. Go try it at a bar before you buy a bottle because this is something that is uh, unique. And I mean that in the truest sense of the word, meaning there's nothing else on my bar that tastes like this. And for you, that may be a good thing. For me, that's not. So um, if you want to give it a shout, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you sample LA1 Louisiana whiskey, let me know what you think of it. In the meantime, you can always comment below these videos. I'd love your feedback, anything that you'd like me to try. So many of the things. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, there was um, a comment in one of the videos I do where someone asked me to review uh, to review LA1. So that's why we're doing this video right now. So uh, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Comments below, good or bad. I'm good either way. I got thick skin, believe me. I've done radio for 13 years. I've heard just about everything you can imagine. So, so good or bad, please like the page. Please subscribe to the page and tell a friend. Let's keep growing this thing. And as always, if you have a suggestion, let me know. That'll do it for another edition of the Whiskey Review here on the Matt Moscone YouTube channel. Peace, y'all.